Hey, OLD, thank you for your support. And uh, this lesson, I'm going to show you the rim knock flip beat. And uh, I've been doing this beat for a while and recently did it at a convention with a lot of people, and they seem to really like it. I've been doing it for so long that I just kind of got used to it, and it wasn't that big of a deal to me. But uh, the reaction it got, I want to show you guys how to do it, and uh, let's get started. For this trick beat, you'll need to get good at the rim knock flip. Rim knock flip, um, we're holding traditional in this beat. So if you don't know how to hold traditional, it's in between your middle finger and your ring finger. And when you hit the drum, when you're holding traditional, you kind of go to the side. So you use the web of your thumb and uh, index finger, and you're going to the side. So that can be hard to get used to, but you're only doing one stroke that way. So you're going from one traditional hit over to a rim knock. Traditional hit to a rim knock. Now that transition, if you look in the overhead cam, you just go from here, you move your stick over like this. There's really nothing fancy about it. Now a normal rim knock, you'd want to find that sweet spot on the stick because depending on where you hit, it's going to sound different. But since we're doing this trick, you've got to um, hit it out further than you normally would because we're going to be hitting the stick up. So when it's out here, you're going to hit up on the stick. And this hand doesn't just let go altogether. Ooh. See why? <laughs> this hand kind of keeps this stick under control so that you can do it. So when I hit, I'm actually guiding it a little bit so that I know where it's going to go. All right, now the catch, you have to catch it in a traditional style in between your middle finger and your ring finger. That's probably the hardest part of the trick, so you've got to get used to doing that. I'd just sit and do this over and over. That sounded weird. That sounded weird, too. All right. Another way you can practice that is just in the uh, open air. You're just hitting it and catching. Or you can practice just throwing it. That's a little harder. So once you get that, the beat is one, and two, and then here's where you got the rim knot. So let's just take that slowly over and over. One, and two, traditional hit, and a three, and four, and close uh, the hi-hat on four. Practice that over and over. Now notice where I position my right hand. I'm already positioned over here when I come down for the rim knock so that uh, I can hit it up. Now and is going to be the hit or and and you're going to do that with the bass drum and one's going to be on the bass drum as well so practice that sequence over and over. Now, we want to keep that feel of the ands going on the hi-hat. So your foot's going to have to make up for that and because you're, you're hitting and catching. So you got to make up for the and on the foot. One and two. And one and. And two. And that repeats over and over. So it'll be snare, and then the rim knock flip. So after the traditional snare hit, four is going to be the rim knock. And one, and. And another cool thing you can do with this trick, get into solo this way or play it just for fun. That, 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 that. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and thanks again for supporting OnlineDrummer.com. I'm Nate Brown. Keep drumming.